try and do an intro right now, but I'm getting attacked by a dino barracuda. No, no, no. You brought this on yourself. It's time for you to die. Well, with that said and done, hello everyone, Miko here, and we are obviously back with some more Maneater. I've been doing a little bit of leveling up, if you could see when the progression bar was down there, I made it to level 8, and since then, I've done a little bit, a little bit more than I would have liked to, but... I'll show you in a second after I eat this albino grouper. So apparently albino creatures are one of the only ones that have this green nutrients, and I don't know what it's called yet. So I've done some missions since the last one. I've killed some high-level creatures in the lake, and I've finally been able to take down alligators, which is very, very nice. And I took it, I started munching on humans and got some infamy, and apparently, if I go here, whenever you get infamy, some hunters will track you down, special hunters. These two came in the order, so whenever I get a new rank, a new guy will show up for me. I took out this guy and this girl, and for both of them, I got evolutions, and for taking out that guy, I got these bioelectric teeth. So whenever I bite something, it stuns them. Well, it doesn't immediately stun them, but if I hit them enough, it'll eventually stun them. And I also started killing a bunch of grouper, and that has triggered the apex of this area to come out. So that's what we're going to start with doing. Apparently the apex is a um, barracuda. So we're going to see how this is. And also, oh, and look at that. There's a license plate up there. How am I supposed to get that? I'm probably going to have to get a, a whole lot bigger and a whole lot more powers to get even close to that. Oh, well, that was sudden. The Needle Tooth Nightmare, the Barracuda. Dang. You've wrecked its favorite hunting ground. Now pay the price. Kill the Apex. Sheesh, you're a big one, too. Unlike the cautious shark, the Barracuda is often quick. Yeah, that they are. So it seems like when aggressive creatures glow, that's the time to attack them when they're vulnerable and you can momentarily stun them. That is, if you don't get hit first. Dang it. Okay, I gotta find something to eat. If I can live that long. Back into the fight. Gotta get used to anticipating that. Capable of speed bursts of up to 35 miles per hour. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, what? I think I ran into that and it kind of hurt me for a second and it freaked me out. Recognize it as the title of a classic <laughs> rock radio staple. Did you know that it's also a fish? <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> the bone evolution set adds damn. Oh, okay. So, blue. 
evolving the bone structures can help with boat combat. Like father, unlike son. Check in on Pete. Oh, that sounds interesting. Back on board the Cajun Queen. Ah. That's Kyle, my son. Oh. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. Yeah. Got two can bend and tie shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. And if anybody you. were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that job. Wanted it bad. Hmm. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Hmm. They don't really look like hobos to me, but, uh... Okay. Sorry, people. The game's telling me to. Let's see if we can get that guy. Close. Close. I can't jump that high. You're on land, you're not safe. You went. Surveys the beach of black fathomless islands. With the hunters in pursuit of a dangerous shark, oh, those close to prepare for the possibility. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. Well, now the vast majority of them are dead, so... You're gonna have to look for new people to hire. And jump! Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners. With spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. <laughs> Wow. The water here is much better. Another shark hunt draws to a close. Oh yeah, they couldn't find me. Too good for them. It's really easy to get rid of the shark hunters because, well, you're a shark and you can just go right to the bottom of the ocean and then just disappear. A Mako! Oh, it's shark versus shark time then, huh? I was wondering if we were gonna fight any other sharks. Oh, crap. This would be an interesting fight because the Mako is one of the fastest sharks in the ocean. Oh no, you started that fight. I'm gonna try to end it. Except I don't know how Mako's fight just yet. Sheesh, they are so fast. Oh, I got some nutrients. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. <laughs> Come on. I think I took all of its fit. What the heck? Okay, that was interesting, but I won. Nice. 
bit of a tight squeeze, but... The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Really, Barracuda? You must really like dying. I will not allow the likes of you predators to enter my domain. It is my time, my house. Alright, time to feast on some king mackerels. My brother went deep sea fishing one time and oh my gosh! I was not informed the Makos were going to be a part of this party. Anyway, my brother went deep sea fishing one time and he got a king mackerel. It was pretty cool. Nothing gets a king fish in the mood quite yeah. like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. <laughs> the fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors golf. <laughs> I'm sure some kind of predator is probably gonna be in here. If Barracudas, okay. I was worried it was gonna be some more making sharks. Well, some predator is definitely not gonna be happy with me eating all the king mackerel. Oh crap, there is a mango shark here. I'm trying to eat here. That's a barracuda. Come on, come on. Okay, let's be completely honest here. Some people who play golf really do deserve to die. I just need to nibble on one more person, please. Traders come every year to Baton Tordu. There we go. The way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritional body parts than a four hundred and fifty dollar round of golf. <laughs> All right, now let's take care of these monsters. Well, I just ate something. Oh, the albino uh, catfish. I'm gonna wait for the next boss to show up. Come on, bring your other people in. Bring that other human. Boss head. Bring them in, and I let the rest of you live. Oh, the savage shrimp, Pookie Paul. I got him! Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates his battle against Fort Clovis. Oh, what's this? This is the grotto. I probably can grow older now. Well, we've ticked off a Mako shark. Let's go finish it off. Oh. Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. <laughs> oh, my grotto's here. Let's grow up. Oh, wow. The shark is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. <laughs> On your own. <laughs> oh, yeah. She looks intimidating now. Oh, the Sultan of Speed, the Maker. It's got a... It straight up has a golf ball for an eyeball. What are you doing here? This is the ocean. Get out. Seriously, Makos, get out of here. Let mommy and daddy work this out a little on their own. Safe to say, don't get in the water, humans. I have no quarrel with humans just now. Come on, it's practically one bite away. 
Stop missing! Fast and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. <laughs> I hope you caught that on video, people. As for the humans here, I do have some business with you. Back when I was a boy, I thought I'd be a gopher. Damn, if I didn't like sinking sharks, a lot more better than sinking putts. <laughs> it does sound a little bit more exciting, to be honest. True hunters hold a deep hatred of wildlife. There we go. The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. <laughs> oh, whoa. He's not messing around. Getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. Well, time for eating more people. Why do I keep jumping? Just eat. Eat. This shark should consider returning to the water. <laughs> ah, I guess it's time to go back to the bayou. Now that we're back here, we can do what we could not do before. Looks like I'm actually halfway, getting close to being halfway done with the story. Wow. Well, we'll show this bayou everything we can do now in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and be sure to hit that notification bell to get updates on all the videos, and be sure to subscribe to my other two YouTube channels. And until next time, I shall see you guys later.